Hello and welcome back to the rest of this video. It's been a couple days and um, I've received the cam caps back from TEM Performance. Speaking of which, some nice goodies I got. I like them. I'm going to be uh, wearing it for the rest of the, the repair here. <laughs> um, anyways, so as you guys know, we ran into a little issue while taking off the cam caps and that was the fact that somebody already has them had them you know fixed supposedly somebody somebody already went inside the motor somebody tried to do the cam caps um, <clears throat> I don't know that information on who that was but they were not done properly they were not done correctly so now we're having to do this again and do it correctly um, also it's costing double what it would cost originally if nobody has done it yet but that's the cost of doing it right sometimes so um, I'm gonna explain a couple things um, go over the cam caps and hopefully you guys get a little better understanding on why it needs to be done correctly and why you should only take them to TEM performance in Napa California one he's the one that invented the fi this fix he's got machines specifically meant to do this job you know um, and just overall, I mean, he's done thousands of them, so why not go to the guy that's an expert at it, you know? Especially when you're working on a car like a Maserati. This repair ain't cheap. You don't want to have to do it several times. You want to do it once, get it done. And, um, anyways, so, as you remember, when we took the cam caps off, we, we saw that there was already a check valve in it. Well, to fix them, basically, the driver's side, when I took it off, the check valve was up and flush against this flat part which would basically be up against the head now the check valve you know it fluctuates here and there so when you get the engine hot guess what the check valve did it slid out and it got stuck in that position so then there was no oil flow at all so that sucks uh, now on the passenger side it didn't slide out yet so it was just a matter of time till that one went and then you know, there would be not enough oil supply up in the head. But, uh, so, here's the cam cap after it got fixed. Let's take a look at this real quick. So, hopefully this will focus. Maybe not. Alright. Uh, check valves right there. And as you can maybe see. Uh, it has a whole sleeve around it. So what he had to do was to fix the first mistake because the passenger side one, he said he just took out the tap and he unscrewed it right out of here. It was not a machine fit. The bottom was tapered. looked like somebody just used a drill to make the hole, which, come on, guys, that's just, it's not acceptable. But people are trying. People are trying to do what TEM Performance does, and they're failing, and that is not good. That is definitely not good. Imagine if both check valves went up against the head and there was no oil flow I mean are you going to be paying for a new engine now because you decided to cheap out and not go with the guy who's an expert at this like think about that but anyways uh, this is the check valve there's a sleeve around it he had to bore this whole thing out get it fresh take aluminum sleeve put the sleeve in there and then press the, ball, uh, the check valve into the sleeve so basically doing the process like three times, you know. Um, but this thing, it'll never go anywhere, you know. It's made properly. It's made correctly. It's got TEM stamped on it, so you know it's done right. So I like that. But, um, yeah, that's that's basically it, you know. Somebody attempted on fixing it, but just didn't do it correctly. But that's okay. 